I think back to when Hurricane Sandy made landfall here, listening to fellow telecommers' heroic stories, friends right here in this room who got into manholes with their suits and their buckets during the height of the superstorm to remove the rising water to keep our networks safe. I think of the men on the cable ships who spend months on end, nearly half a year, crossing the Atlantic Ocean, braving storms, nausea, loneliness, to lay down a new fiber connection to provide much needed capacity between continents. I think of the long nights of all of us right here in this room, daring to dream about one global network that provides better education, collaboration, research, economies, in a word, growth. It's human advancement. It's gladiators risking, leaping, falling, getting back up, healing, rising, conquering. These are all actions done by those willing to fight those willing to be in the arena, risking it. And I stand before you on the brink of a new decade, defining decade for telecom. In the next 10 years, will it be one of continued disruption and growth, or will it be one of displacement? Technology is taking over the automobile industry, the oil and gas industry, the power industry, and others. Apple is working on driverless cars. Elon Musk is working on solving our power dependencies. And Google Fiber is flourishing. Why? End users, our kids, want and expect to have everything right now. Top service, top customer care. To provide this and to remain competitive, internet giants, want more predictability over telecom's historically volatile pricing, timelines, services. And our industry's ability to adapt has been historically steeped with complications. Legacy pipes, last mile challenges, and just the sheer amount of land mass and oceans to cross to lay much needed new infrastructure. It may seem like the odds are stacked against us, that the pie is getting smaller, the world keeps spinning faster, and the finish line is forever disappearing. But there are answers. We need to listen. We need to adapt, to partner, to leverage our existing assets, and to create new physical and digital assets. Together, we can jump forward, make it our definitive decade, where we become the one stable, global, secure network, interconnected, powerful, able to deliver the types of infrastructure, that technology, that our children demand. The internet is us. The billions of us out here, cheering, capturing our lives in pictures and video, a never seen before, unedited catalog of history, created and uploaded and stored on our pipes and interconnections. And because of this, it's never been easier in history to collaborate, to implement, to advance, to make a difference. So I'm asking you today, think of this room as one arena, to fight for one global network, to listen, to adapt, to partner. Collectively, we need to make our relationships stronger our marketplace stable, our customers' concerns at the forefront of all of our business decisions. We are all in one room here today. Let's make it a room of change.